Want to speak real Finnish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at finnishpod101.com. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. Welcome to finnishpod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Do you still remember? Let's go through them once more. Yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi, kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan, yhdeksän, kymmenen. And now let's continue from 11. Yksitoista. Yksi, toista. Kaksitoista. Kaksi, toista. Kolme toista. Kolme toista. Neljä toista. Neljä toista. Viisi toista. Viisi toista. Kuusi toista. Kuusi toista. Seitsemän toista. Seitsemän toista. Kahdeksan toista. Kahdeksan toista. Yhdeksän toista. Yhdeksän toista. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yksi toista. Kaksi toista. Kolme toista. Neljä toista. Viisi toista. Kuusi toista. Seitsemän toista. Kahdeksan toista. Yhdeksän toista. These numbers might seem long and difficult, but the pattern is actually very simple. Just take any of the numbers you learned in the previous lesson and add toista. Couldn't be much easier, right? For twenty and the other tens, it's just as simple. Take a number and add kymmentä from the word kymmenen, which means ten. Let's go through them. Kaksi kymmentä. Kaksi kymmentä. Kolme kymmentä. Kolme kymmentä. Neljä kymmentä. Neljä kymmentä. Viisi kymmentä. Viisi kymmentä. Kuusi kymmentä. Kuusi kymmentä. Seitsemän kymmentä. Seitsemän. Kymmentä. Kahdeksan kymmentä. Kahdeksan kymmentä. Yhdeksän kymmentä. Yhdeksän kymmentä. And lastly, sata. Sata. All these numbers follow the same pattern, so you don't have to worry about irregularities. The only downside is that the numbers tend to get quite long, but once you get the hang of it, it will cause no problem at all. The last thing to learn in this lesson is how to form compound numbers above 20. This is also super easy. Take the tens and simply add the numbers you learned in the previous lesson. Let's try it out. How would you say 38 in Finnish? Let's take it step by step. 30 is kolmekymmentä and then add 8, kahdeksan. Kolmekymmentä kahdeksan. It's as simple as that. Let's try another one, like 72. First take 70, seitsemän kymmentä, and then add 2, kaksi, to get seitsemän kymmentä kaksi. Now it's time for Paula's points. When you want to count beyond 100, you can use the same basic pattern. Just add the word sata, 100, in front of the tens. For example, 164, 164. Sata kuusi kymmentä neljä. Now you can count in Finnish. Next time when you have trouble sleeping, try counting sheep in Finnish and see how far you can get. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to make practical use of the numbers you have just learned. How would you like to go on a shopping trip in Finland? We'll get to practice the numbers by talking about prices in the next Suomea kolmesta minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian!
Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi, my name is Paula. Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Anteeksi, puhutteko te englantia? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word Anteeksi, which means excuse me in Finnish. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use anteeksi and other words when apologizing in Finnish. We can use anteeksi in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, anteeksi, saisinko kahvin kiitos? Excuse me, could I get a coffee please? We can also use it when asking a question. Anteeksi, missä on tuomiokirkko? Excuse me, where is the dome? Anteeksi is a very flexible word. It can be used in both formal and informal situations. We can use anteeksi when asking a question, trying to get someone's attention, or when apologizing. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is olen pahoillani. It means I am sorry, and can be used both in formal and informal situations. Olen pahoillani. Breaking this down, first we have the Finnish word for to be, olla. When this is conjugated for minä, meaning I, it is olen. You could say, minä olen pahoillani, but it's common to leave the pronoun itself out. Finally, we have the adjective pahoillani, meaning sorry, olen pahoillani. Now it's time for Paula's points. Please remember that in Finland, if you accidentally bump into someone, it's more common to say anteeksi than olen pahoillani. Are you able to count in Finnish? In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers from 1 to 10. I'll see you in our next Suomea kolmessa minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last two lessons, we learned how to count in Finnish. Did you memorize the numbers from yksi to sata? I hope so because this time you will put them to use. We will be practicing shopping in Finland. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is this? Kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Okay, are you ready to go shopping in Finland? Let's go! Imagine yourself in a shop in Finland. You find something you want to buy, and you want to ask how much it costs. Start by saying, anteeksi. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Anteeksi, kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? Anteeksi, kuinka paljon tämä maksaa? The clerk will tell you, se maksaa, it costs, or more simply, se on, it is. For example, se maksaa 25 euroa. Or, se on 25 euroa. What number is 25? It's 25. So these phrases mean it costs 25 euros. Let's see some more examples. You see a bag that you want to buy. A bag in Finnish is laukku. So how would you ask how much it costs? Anteeksi, kuinka paljon tämä laukku maksaa? Or a pair of shoes. This makes it slightly different because you have to use the plural form. A shoe would be kenkä but shoes are kengät in the plural. So you would ask, anteeksi, kuinka paljon nämä kengät maksavat? Also remember that the plural of tämä is nämä, and maksa becomes maksavat when talking about more than one item. Now it's time for Paula's points. Credit and debit cards are very commonly used in Finland, and you can use them in almost all shops and restaurants. If you want to make sure, you can ask, Voinko maksaa kortilla? Can I pay with a card? Voinko maksaa kortilla? 
Do you feel confident about counting euros and cents in Finnish? If not, don't worry. We will learn all about it next time. I'll be waiting for you in our next Suomea kolmesta minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Finnish. Hi everybody, my name is Päivi. Welcome to the 800 core Finnish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Finnish. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at finnishbod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Finnish. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hey! Hello! Hey! Hey! Hello! Hey, Mari! Hello, Mari! Hey, Mari! Anteeksi! Excuse me. Anteeksi. Anteeksi. Excuse me. Anteeksi. Missä on juna-asema? Excuse me. Where is the train station? Anteeksi. Missä on juna-asema? Olen pahoillani. I'm sorry. Olen pahoillani. Olen pahoillani. I'm sorry. Olen pahoillani. En osaa lukea nimeäsi. I'm sorry. I can't read your name. Olen pahoillani. En osaa lukea nimeäsi. Hyvää yötä. Good night. Hyvää yötä. Hyvää yötä. Good night. Hyvää yötä ja kiitos paljon. Good night and thank you very much. Hyvää yötä ja kiitos paljon. Hausko tutustua. Nice to meet you. Hausko tutustua. Hauska tutustua. Nice to meet you. Hausko tutustua, Mari? Nice to meet you, Mari. Hauska tutustua, Mari. Mitä kuuluu? How are you? Mitä kuuluu? Mitä kuuluu? How are you? Moi, mitä kuuluu? Hi. How are you? Moi. Mitä kuuluu? Kyllä. Yes. Kyllä. Kyllä. Yes. Kyllä. Kolme kertaa. Yes. Three times. Kyllä. Kolme kertaa. Ei. No. Ei. Ei. No. Ei kahvia, kiitos. No coffee, thanks. Ei kahvia, kiitos. Kiitos. Thank you. Kiitos. Kiitos. Thank you. Kiitos avustasi. Thank you for your help. 
Kiitos. Avustasi. Minä olen. I'm. Minä olen. Minä olen. I'm. Minä olen Sara. I'm Sara. Minä olen Sara. Näkemiin. Goodbye. Näkemiin. Näkemiin. Goodbye. Näkemiin, ystäväni. Goodbye, my friend. Näkemiin, ystäväni. Huono. Bad. Huono. Huono. Bad. Mies on huono. The man is bad. Mies on huono. Hyvä. Good. Hyvä. Hyvä. Good. Vihannekset ovat hyväksi sinulle. Vegetables are good for you. Vihannekset ovat hyväksi sinulle. Nätti. Pretty. Nätti. Nätti. Pretty. Mekkosi on tosi nätti. Your dress is very pretty. Mekkosi on tosi nätti. Ruma. Ugly. Ruma. Ruma. Ugly. Rumasta ankanpoikasesta tuli kaunis joutsen. The ugly duckling became a beautiful swan. Rumasta ankanpoikasesta tuli kaunis joutsen. Helppo. Easy. Helppo. Helppo. Easy. Rai ruohoa on helppo kasvattaa. It is easy to grow rai grass. Rai ruohoa on helppo kasvattaa. Vaikea. Difficult. Vaikea. Vaikea. Difficult. Japanin kieli on erittäin vaikea. Japanese is very difficult. Japanin kieli on erittäin vaikea. Lähellä. Near. Lähellä. Lähellä. Near. Asun lähellä yliopistoa. I live near the university. Asun lähellä yliopistoa. Kaukana. Far. Kaukana. Kaukana. Far. Nainen katsoo jotakin kaukana olevaa. The woman is looking at something far away. Nainen katsoo jotakin kaukana olevaa. Pieni. Small. Pieni. Pieni. Small. Auto on pieni, mutta se on erittäin voimakas. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Auto on pieni, mutta se on erittäin voimakas. Well done! 
In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at finishboard101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard text, and more learning resources. See you next time! Hey hey! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Finnish. Hi everybody, my name is Päivi. Welcome to the 800 core Finnish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Finnish. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at finishbod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally, master finish! Okay, let's get started! First is koira, dog, koira, koira, dog. Janoinen koira juo uima altaasta. The thirsty dog is drinking from the pool. Janoinen koira juo uima altaasta. Kissa. Cat. Kissa. Kissa. Cat. Kissani loukkasi häntänsä. My cat hurt her tail. Kissani loukkasi häntänsä. Hamsteri. Hamster. Hamsteri. Hamsteri. Hamster. Hamsterit tykkäävät nukkua päivällä. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsterit tykkäävät nukkua päivällä. Lämmin. Warm. Lämmin. Lämmin. Warm. Onko tämä takki lämmin? Is this coat warm? Onko tämä takki lämmin? Sade. Rain. Sade. Sade. Rain. Sade alkaa aamulla. The rain will start in the morning. Sade alkaa aamulla. Tomaatti. Tomato. Tomaatti. Tomaatti. Tomato. Tomaateista voi tehdä monenlaisia ruokia. You can make many kinds of food from tomatoes. Tomaateista voi tehdä monenlaisia ruokia. Mansikka. Strawberry. Mansikka. Mansikka. Strawberry. Olen allerginen mansikoille. I'm allergic to strawberries. Olen 
allerginen mansikoille. Kirsikka. Cherry. Kirsikka. Kirsikka. Cherry. Haluan syödä kirsikoita. I want to eat cherries. Haluan syödä kirsikoita. Lapsi. Child. Lapsi. Lapsi. Child. Lapsi oli hyvin älykäs ja ymmärsi käsitteitä paljon aiemmin kuin muut lapset. The child was extremely intelligent, understanding concepts years ahead of other children. Lapsi oli hyvin älykäs ja ymmärsi käsitteitä paljon aiemmin kuin muut lapset. Friendi. Friend. Friendi. Friendi. Friend. Hei, kutsutaanko pari friendia kylään viikonloppuna? Hei, shall we invite a couple of friends for a visit over the weekend? Hei, kutsutaanko pari friendia kylään viikonloppuna? Aikuinen. Adult. Aikuinen. Aikuinen. Adult. Yksi aikuisten lippu, kiitos. One adult ticket, please. Yksi aikuisten lippu, kiitos. Polkupyörä. Bicycle. Polkupyörä. Polkupyörä. Bicycle. Polkupyöräni on vanha. My bicycle is old. Polkupyöräni on vanha. Auto. Car. Auto. Auto. Car. Haluan ostaa uuden auton. I want to buy a new car. Haluan ostaa uuden auton. Moottoripyörä. Motorcycle. Moottoripyörä. Moottoripyörä. Motorcycle. En osaa ajaa moottoripyörää. I can't drive a motorcycle. En osaa ajaa moottoripyörää. Skootteri. Scooter. Skootteri. Skootteri. Scooter. Joku varasti skootterin. Someone stole the scooter. Joku varasti skootterin. Vene. Boat. Vene. Vene. Boat. Vene veti rikkinäistä proomua perässään. 
The boat tugged the broken down barge along behind it. Vene veti rikkinäistä proomua perässään. Medusa. Jellyfish. Medusa. Medusa. Jellyfish. Medusat heiluvat vedessä. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Medusat heiluvat vedessä. Hummeri. Lobster. Hummeri. Hummeri. Lobster. Hummeri on kivellä. The lobster is on the rock. Hummeri on kivellä. Rapu. Crab. Rapu. Rapu. Crab. Kaksi rapua kävelee kalliolla. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Kaksi rapua kävelee kalliolla. Kilpikonna. Turtle. Kilpikonna. Kilpikonna. Turtle. Merikilpikonna ui meressä. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Merikilpikonna ui meressä. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at finishboard101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Hey hey! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. Hi, I'm Paula. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Finnish expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Finnish. So let's get started. We'll first see how Finnish people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. Hi, I'm Paula. Nice to meet you. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. Let's go through this. Start by saying, Hey, minun nimeni on. Then say your name. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Finally, say, Hauska tutustua. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. Good day. My name is Paula Laamanen. Nice to meet you. Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hey has been substituted with the formal greeting Hyvää päivää. Finish for good day. Minun nimeni on Paula has not been changed. In both cases, minun nimeni on means my name is. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name, so I said 
Paula Laamanen. Here you would say your full name. Finally, hauska tutustua is the same for both. This phrase means nice to meet you. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Finnish is Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hauska tutustua. You can make it more formal by saying Hyvää päivää. Minun nimeni on Paula Laamanen. Hauska tutustua. Now it's time for Paula's points. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands and use Hauska tutustua after saying your name. If you're concerned about politeness, even hey is polite enough in the Finnish business world. In fact, if you speak too formally, people will think you sound unnatural. In Finland, simple is best. That's it for this lesson. Do you know how we say thank you in Finnish? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next Suomea kolmesta minuutista lesson. Nähdään pian! Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. Welcome to finnishpod101.com Suomea kolmesta minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying kiitos. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Finland. Ready? Let's get started. The most used informal greeting is hey. Hey. Hey means hi or hello. We use it when we meet people, friends, relatives, and even people we don't know. We use this phrase in lesson one. Do you remember? Do you also remember what the formal way of greeting people is? Hyvää päivää. Hyvää päivää. Literally, hyvää päivää means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use hyvää päivää only during the daytime, from midday until early evening. During the evening, we say Hyvää ilta. Hyvää ilta. Ilta is Finnish for evening, so hyvää ilta means good evening. Hyvää päivää and hyvää ilta are used when we meet someone, but when we leave, we don't say these greetings again. Instead, when leaving in a formal situation, Finnish people say näkemiin. Näkemiin. Näkemiin means goodbye. In informal situations, you can just say hey hey. Hey, hey. Finally, in Finnish we have an expression meaning see you soon, which can be either formal or informal. Nähdään pian. Nähdään pian. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Finnish. Let's review them all again. When greeting someone in an informal situation, hey. When greeting someone in a formal situation, hyvää päivää or hyvää ilta. When leaving, in a formal situation, näkemiin. When leaving in an informal situation, hey hey. When leaving, no matter whether it's a formal or informal situation, nähdään pian. It's easy, right? Now it's time for Paula's points. In formal situations, Finnish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug each other. Don't be afraid to do it with your Finnish friends. It's normal. In the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Puhutko Englantia? Do you already know it? I'll tell you all about it in the next Suomea kolmesta minuutista lesson. Nähdään pian! Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi, my name is Paula. Welcome to finnishpod101.com's Suomea kolmesta minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Finnish. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Finnish, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Puhutko sinä Englantia? Puhutko sinä Englantia? In Finnish, verbs change depending on the pronoun that is used. This verb, 
puhua is conjugated to the second person singular, puhut. Ko is a suffix used to make it a question. It is similar to the English word do here. Puhut refers to sinä, which is the informal way to say you. And I'm sure you recognize englantia as English. Puhutko sinä englantia? To learn how to properly conjugate Finnish verbs like puhua, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on FinnishPod101.com. There you'll find several detailed grammar lessons. We're now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you, which is te. If we change the word for you, we will conjugate puhua differently. It becomes puhutte. Everything else stays the same. Puhutteko te englantia? Puhutteko te englantia? Adding anteeksi, excuse me, makes the sentence even more polite. Anteeksi, puhutteko te englantia? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Kyllä. Yes. Kyllä. Vähän. A little. Vähän. Ei, en puhu englantia. No, I don't speak English. Ei. En puhu englantia. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say a first, then en before the verb puhu, and englantia after it. Notice also that the verb puhu is slightly different than puhutte. Remember, the verb changes depending on the pronoun used. We are now talking about mina, Finnish for I, so I do not speak is Mina en puhu. The negative verb is also slightly different than the affirmative one. Now it's time for Paula's points. For those of you who speak languages other than English, this question still works. Just substitute Englandia with a different language. Here are some examples. Italia is Italian. Venaya is Russian. Espania is Spanish. And Saksa is German. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression anteeksi. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Finnish. I'll see you in our next Suomea kolmesta minuutissa lesson. Nähdään pian! Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. Welcome to FinnishPod101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. This lesson will be all about numerot. That's right, numbers. First we learn the numbers from 1 to 10. They are not difficult at all and it will only take 3 minutes. Vain kolme minuuttia. Are you ready? Let's start. Yksi. Yksi, kaksi, kaksi, kolme, kolme, neljä, neljä, viisi, viisi, kuusi, kuusi, seitsemän, seitsemän, kahdeksan, kahdeksan, yhdeksän, yhdeksän, kymmenen, kymmenen. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yksi. Kaksi. Kolme. Neljä. Viisi. Kuusi. Seitsemän. Kahdeksan. Yhdeksän. Kymmenen. Great job! If you're wondering what comes before yksi, it is similar to the English words nil or null. It's nolla. Nolla. Easy to remember, right? Now there's no need to panic if your new Finnish friend asks for your cell phone number. Let's practice how you would say it. We'll use the phrase minun numeroni on, which means my number is. Minun numeroni on. Minun numeroni on. Nolla, viisi, nolla, kaksi, yhdeksän, yksi, neljä, 
seitsemän, kaksi, kahdeksan. Can you read it by yourself? Nolla, viisi, nolla, kaksi, yhdeksän, yksi, neljä, seitsemän, kaksi, kahdeksan. Perfect. Now it's time for Paula's points. Finns love to make words shorter. When counting quickly, the numbers can easily turn to less than half of the length they really are. Y, ka, ko, ne, vi, ku, se, kasi, ysi, kympi. There is no need for you to use these, but now you won't get confused if you start hearing numbers you've never heard before. Do you know the Finnish word for a hundred? It's almost the same as the verb sata, to rain. In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Finnish. Before jumping there, be sure to practice the numbers we learned in this lesson from yksi to kymmenen. Nähdään ensi kerralla. Hey, minun nimeni on Paula. Hi everybody, I'm Paula. Welcome to Finnish Pad101.com's Suomea kolmessa minuutissa. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Finnish. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Finnish. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to properly thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone, but let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Kiitos. Kiitos. Kiitos means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add the word paljon. Kiitos paljon. Kiitos paljon. Paljon means a lot. So kiitos paljon is just like saying thank you very much. It doesn't matter if you're trying to be formal or informal. Kiitos will work in both situations, so don't worry. But how do you reply to thank you in Finnish? It's easy. There are basically two ways to do it. The first is ole hyvä. Ole hyvä. Ole hyvä literally means be good, and it's commonly used to reply to thank you, especially when someone thanks you for giving them something. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression ei se mitään. Ei se mitään. Literally, this phrase means nothing or never mind. You use this when you think that there's no need to be thanked, so it's like saying, don't mention it. So when someone says kiitos to you, you can simply reply with ole hyvä or ei se mitään. Now it's time for Paula's points. If you're not sure about whether to use kiitos or kiitos paljon, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Kiitos can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time. Do you know what nakemin means? In our next Suomea kolmessa minuutissa lesson, you learn this and other greetings in Finnish. Nähdään pian! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.